Pope Benedict writes, but if in my life I fail completely to heed others, solely out of a desire to be devout and to perform my religious duties, then my relationship with God will grow arid. It becomes merely proper, but loveless. What does he mean to become merely proper, but loveless? It's very tempting in the religious life to draw it into yourself, you know, to you and God, God and you, to make it yourself. But as Pope Benedict writes, the command to love God is united with the command to love your neighbour. They, in fact, become one. And here's the thing. It's the reason why you can't privatise your religion. Forgive me, it's the reason to go to church. Because there's a danger always that these things just become private. The interesting thing is that we grow closer to the Lord, we grow closer to our neighbour. That's sort of how it works. I remember an occasion when I was sitting in a presbytery with a young priest. There were a group of us. We were all teenagers at the time and we'd been on a trip to Lourdes in France on a pilgrimage and after the event we were gathered in the presbytery just sharing photographs and stories and a knock on the door. The door opened, the priest went over and there was a man, a homeless man. The waft of body odour and alcohol filled the room. I remember wondering how he would deal with this. And the man said to him, Father, I need some money. The young priest replied, um, Harry, what do you need the money for? And the man said, I need some shoes. It was an interesting moment because the priest looked quietly, gently, serenely, and then said to Harry, tell me, uh, Harry, what size are you? And he replied, Father, I'm a ten. And the priest replied, well, you're lucky, because so am I. And he took his shoes off and gave them to him. They were beautiful leather uppers. We'd bought them in France. The man disappeared in the night. I suspect he was hoping for money, but he was quite pleased with the shoes. And the priest joined us. We continued our evening. But you know, I was 17 and I remember looking at him and looking at that action and thinking to myself, I think I just saw the face of Christ in that engagement. I mean, it really had an impact on me. I remember thinking, I want to be like that. I want to be that kind of neighbour. You see, in the life of a Christian, you grow closer to God you will grow closer to the need of others. You will become compassionate and you'll grow in that spirit of desire to be one with your neighbour. That's what this is all about. You grow closer to God, you grow closer to your neighbour. You know what to do. Here are the questions.